Could you visit me the day after tomorrow? Hello, Mom. I would love to visit, but I have my part-time job. I thought you only worked until noon. You could visit us after you're done with your work. I have to start preparing for dinner as soon as I finish my job, so I don't think I can visit you. Would you mind if I visit you on another day? Why not the day after tomorrow? Is there a reason why you want me to visit on that particular date? You know that we have a funeral next week. I wanted to ask you to clean the gravestones before we have the funeral. I'm getting old and it's hard for me to do it on my own. I won't accept no for an answer. How about tomorrow? I don't have work tomorrow, so I think I'll be able to help you with the preparations. I'm not open tomorrow. You can always prepare for dinner after you visit me, or ask Ella to prepare dinner for you. My daughter is busy studying for her exams. I don't want to disturb her. She's not that smart. Studying won't take her to a prestigious university. She can spare a few days not studying. I heard you haven't even hired a tutor for her. Doesn't that mean you're not so serious about her education? No, not at all. Ella told me she didn't need a tutor. I guess she doesn't take studying seriously either. Robert's son is also preparing for his exams like your daughter. But he has a tutor hired even though it costs him a lot of money. He's aiming to enter one of the most prestigious universities in this state. Wow. But look at Ella. She's a problematic high school student. I wonder where her genes come from. I heard you had to talk with her teacher about her attitude at school. What a kid she is. She even punched her classmate last year. I couldn't believe my ears when I heard the news. I do agree that it was bad to be violent towards the classmates, but she did it to help her friend who was bullied at school. If Ella didn't help her, she might have been bullied even more. That doesn't justify her actions. Hannah, don't you think you're spoiling her too much? You should teach her what's right and wrong. I'm proud of my daughter who saved her friends from bullies. It might not have been the best way to help, but she was thanked by her friend and her parents. Ella is very considerate and empathetic. Like mother, like daughter. I guess she had the wrong role model. I knew you weren't capable of raising a child because you grew up without a father. I don't think that really matters. Be sure to come visit me the day after tomorrow. Robert and his wife are busy supporting his son getting ready for his exams. They also have a stable job, unlike you who only has a part-time job. You should have some free time to spare. All right, I'll visit you the day after tomorrow. I want Dad to peacefully rest in heaven after his funeral. Just say yes if you're gonna agree to it anyways. I wasted time chatting with you. Visit me as soon as you finish your job. Bring the cleaning tools with you, okay? Half a year later. Hannah, is Ella trying to get into the Ivy League? Is that a big deal? Do you understand how difficult it is? I've spent most of my life living abroad, so I don't know much about the universities here. Are you really her mother? She'll never be able to pass. My husband is in charge of discussing these things with my daughter, and he told me he was positive about her decision. Huh? Did my son really tell you that? I'm pretty sure. I think that's why my daughter decided to aim for those universities in the first place. Well, we never know what awaits in our future, so we can't be a hundred percent sure about it. Her standardized test scores are pretty good. Does her homeroom teacher know about it? Yes, her teachers are supportive of her too. You must be kidding. No, it's the truth. Why would I lie to you? I'll miss her if she leaves to live in the dormitories, to be honest. It's not so common in my home country. 
she'll always be my little girl, so I have to admit that I'm pretty worried about her. Why? Why is Ella going to such a prestigious university? Ella told me that the university she wanted to go to was famous for the field she wanted to specialize in. I'm not talking about her reasons. Why is Ella, who's famous for being a problematic student, supported by her school? It must be a mistake. It's not. She's not problematic. And she loved studying since she was little. Ella always aced all of her tests at school. Oh, I see. I never knew Ella was such a smart girl. It made me change my perceptions about her. Wasn't her birthday coming up? Yes, just next month. But her birthday is right before her last standardized test, so we're planning to have a party after she gets admitted into university. I'll be sure to send her a gift. What? You're gonna get her a birthday present? Why do you sound so surprised? You've never sent her any gifts. It's your first time ever to celebrate her birthday. I bet she'll be glad to receive a gift from her grandmother. I doubt it. She might refuse to receive presents from me. I guarantee you that she'll love it. If you say so. I'm glad to hear that all my children are smart. I'm very proud to be their grandmother. Tell her to look forward to her presence. Ella, are you home? I went home after school to get my textbooks, but I've already left to study at the library. Are you done with work, Mom? I just came back home from work. Okay, take some rest. I'll study at the library for a bit before heading home. Maybe for an hour or two. Don't overwork yourself too much. I know you're worried about the test tomorrow, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. Thanks, Mom. What do you want for dinner, sweetie? Yeah, I was thinking of preparing something nice for you. And I was wondering what to make. Is there anything you want to eat in particular? Anything's fine, Mom. Nothing special. Just cook whatever you were planning to. If you say so. I guess I'll cook your favorite dish. We won't be having a party yet, but it's your birthday today. Let me at least prepare what you like. Thanks, Mom. I'll look forward to it. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Your grandmother said she sent you a birthday gift. Did you receive it? Yep, I received it today. It ended up in the trash can, though. Huh? Did you put it in the trash? Yep, who needs that? Ella... I know you don't like your grandmother, but isn't that too much? She might not have been the best grandmother for you, but she wanted to celebrate your birthday after realizing how hardworking you were. I don't need any celebrations from her. She wasn't interested in me at all. I'm sorry, Ella. It's all because I'm an immigrant and undereducated. She not only looks down on me, but also you too. There is nothing wrong with being an immigrant. You're also smart, Mom. Actually, I think you're smarter than Grandma. I never felt any respect towards her. Ella, she's still your grandmother. And didn't you get what you wanted for your birthday present? I provided her with some ideas on what to get you for your birthday. It's a present from your grandmother. Don't be so harsh on her. Do you know what she sent me? I don't think you would appreciate it either. What did she send you? I guess she wants me to get sick. The present is in the trash can in my room. You should go and check. In your room? Okay, I'll go and see what she got for you. Did Grandma send you a cake for your birthday? It looks like she cooked for you. Doesn't it look disgusting? I was so confused. I couldn't believe my eyes when I opened it. It's a peach cake. Peach? But you're allergic to peaches. That's probably why. She wanted me to get sick so that I would fail my tests. She knows that I won't recover in time if I eat her peach cake tonight. I'm so sorry, Ella. I should have refused when Grandma offered to send you a birthday present. It's not your fault, Mom. We should blame Grandma. 
But it's partly my fault. I thought she'll finally be proud of you, Ella. I should have known better. It must have ruined your day. Mom, I'm fine. I don't need Grandma to be proud of me. Thanks to Mom and Dad, I'm living a happy life. I'm lucky to be your daughter. Ella. You don't have to try and protect me from Grandma. Don't act humble towards her. We've had enough. Why would we want to be a part of someone's family who's so awful to us? That's true. I was hoping for the best for you, but I guess I was wrong. I'm so happy you grew up to be an honest, kind-hearted girl. I'm so lucky to have you as my daughter. I love you from the bottom of my heart, sweetie. Hello, Hannah. I can't contact Robert and his wife. Do you know anything? Don't you have something more to say to me? What do you mean? About the present you prepared for Ella? How was it? Did she enjoy her present? I had to spend the whole day baking it for her, but she hasn't expressed any gratitude nor mentioned a single word of thanks. She has absolutely no manners. I thought you knew Ella was allergic to peaches. Why did you have to top it with raw peaches? You know she gets the worst allergic reactions when she eats them raw. This is not funny. She hasn't eaten it anyways, right? I knew she would just ignore my present. Then why did you send it to her in the first place? I thought I might be lucky. She could eat it without realizing it included peaches. How dare you. You're evil. It's her fault for applying to a smarter university than Robert's son. I did so many things to support my grandson to get into a prestigious university. Why should your daughter be accepted to such a prestigious university when you don't even have a private tutor hired for her? It doesn't make sense at all. Ella has been studying really hard. It's just that her hard work paid off. Robert and his wife both graduated from a prestigious university. I doubt you even graduated high school properly. I was homeschooled for personal reasons. Homeschooled? Don't make me laugh. And you haven't even graduated university? Are you serious? You're pathetic. Huh? What did you just say? I don't want to be called pathetic by someone who doesn't even know their father. You still grew up to be evil like this despite being from what you call a normal family. I bet your parents were evil and pathetic like you. I can see it in your genes. Excuse me, my parents were wonderful people. Shut your little mouth, Hannah. I accepted you to marry my son because you were pregnant with his baby. But if you continue to be rude like this, I'll make you divorce my son. How? Do you think my husband will leave me just because you tell him to? After my husband died, I became the head of this house. He'll have to listen to my orders. Oh, really? I never knew you were so powerful. But do you even have any power in the household? What exactly can you do as the head of the house? If I accept you, you'll get some financial aid from me. Just like how I aided Robert and his son, you get help when you're in need of money. Don't you want financial aid? No, not at all. You've been making fun of me and looked down on me all this time. You never tried to help us even once, did you? We never wanted your help in the first place, so there's really no need for our family to be accepted by you. After my death, you get to inherit money, too. Don't you want it? Nope. My husband doesn't need it either. Then let's break our relationship and end it here. You all are no longer part of my family. Tell your husband not to come home ever again. Okay, I'll tell him that. Don't you ever get involved with my family. Oh, by the way, were you wondering about Robert and his family's whereabouts? They're also planning to break relations with you. Huh? Why would Robert do that? 
His son never liked to study, but you've been forcing him and pressuring him to do so. He's been suffering from stress, enduring all the private lessons and tutorings every day. He needed to study hard in order to get into a prestigious university. What if he didn't want to? He never dreamed of getting into a prestigious university, so he decided to give up. Give up? What do you mean? He didn't apply to the university you wanted him to get into. Huh? Where did he apply to, then? I won't tell you the name of the university, but he applied to a small institution. He said he was interested in computer science. There was a program he wanted to take part in, so he chose to apply to a different school. He decided what was best for him. Why? They haven't told me anything about it. They kept it a secret until the application period was over. They didn't want you to make a big deal out of it. I've already bragged about my grandson being admitted into a prestigious university. It's your fault, isn't it? The results haven't even been announced yet. How much do you think I provided them for financial aid? What was all my money for? It was your choice to aid them financially. They never asked you to do so. They regret making their son endure all the pressure from you, so they decided to break relations with you in order to make a more comfortable environment for their son. That's why they're ignoring my calls. I guess they blocked you. Now that I've said everything I wanted to, I think I'll leave the conversation. I don't think I'll meet you ever again, but I hope you stay healthy. Hannah, wait a minute. Ella is leaving the house if she gets admitted into university, am I right? Yes, if she's admitted. You'll have to pay for her dormitory fees. What if I pay for them instead? I bet the tuition is expensive, too. I could offer you some financial aid. Are you targeting Ella now? Do you remember the horrible things you did to her? You made fun of her and even sent her a peach cake she was allergic to. We don't need help from someone who's been so awful towards us. I'll accept you as my son's wife. You've always wanted to be accepted by me. You hoped I would cherish you and Ella like I did for Robert's wife and son. I don't need your support nor acceptance. I have Ella and my husband who cherishes me. Their love is enough for me. Is there anything you want, Hannah? A car? A brand bag? Please stop, this is getting ridiculous. There's nothing I want, and there's no reason for you to do such a thing for us. I don't think I can forgive you no matter what. What am I going to do after both my sons break relations with me? I'm getting old, so I'm worried about my future. I'm your mother-in-law, am I not? Couldn't you help me out? I'm afraid I can't. You can't expect to be forgiven after everything you did. It's your fault that everyone left you. You should reflect on your actions. I don't think I can ever forgive you. Hannah, let me apologize for everything I did to you and Ella. Tell your husband that I need help. He's my son. He has to help me. I don't think so. He thinks you deserve it. There's no one who would help you out of this situation. Hannah, how about we have a proper discussion about this? I want to congratulate her for her hard work. I told you that we don't need anything from you. You're no longer part of my family. Ella, my husband, and my mother, they're my only family. I don't think I can look after an evil old woman who's not even related. But both my daughter and her cousin successfully got admitted into the university they hoped to go to. To prevent a surprise visit from his mother, Robert decided to move somewhere far. We also moved closer to Ella's university so that she could easily visit us when she wanted to. My husband told me that his relatives never liked his mother who would brag about her family whenever she had the chance to. When we broke relations with her, no one felt sorry for her. I guess she was never aware of all the kindness she was receiving from her relatives. 
I hope she finally learned her lesson. I also heard a rumor that she's been using her money to distract herself from loneliness. And that she was tricked by several scammers, making her lose most of her savings. Surprisingly, seeing her suffer after we broke relations with her never made me regret my decisions. I always wanted to be accepted as her son's wife, but my daughter's words made me realize what was really important to me. Now that I finally realize who was really important to me, I'll do whatever I can to protect my precious family members. Hey babe, were you nervous today? Of course I was. I'd ask your mom for permission to marry you. I want her to have a good impression of me. You did fine. My mom was nice, wasn't she? She even made polite conversation with you. You know, she was super flattered when you called her beautiful. She said that I found a great guy. I'm just so glad she took a liking to me. But I wasn't trying to butter her up. I was genuinely surprised at how beautiful she looked. I can't even compare her to my mom. You got your good looks from her. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really proud to have her as my mom. My dad died when I was little, so she raised me all by herself. That's why it's super important to me that she approves of this marriage. If she doesn't, I wouldn't be able to go through with it. But you've been really kind, and my mom seems to like you. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for understanding my situation. I can't wait to marry you. Don't say that. I love you so much. Your family is my family now. I just want to cherish the things that you cherish. Really? Well, when we get married, my mom will be your mom too. A lot of people don't like their mother-in-law, so... What? It's your mom, so we will be fine. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm the one that will be moving into your family's place, so you're actually doing me a favor. Don't worry about that. I'm so glad that I met you. Laura, did you leave the hospital? Did you hear what the doctor said? Were you surprised? I'm so sorry. Call me when you've calmed down. Sorry for suddenly leaving the hospital. I was shocked. I couldn't believe you suddenly fainted like that. I had to call the ambulance. My mind couldn't grasp what was happening. They said you fainted because the pregnancy caused you to be dizzy? But mom, you... you don't have a boyfriend now, right? I don't. Oh, so then how did this happen? Was it a one-night thing? As far as I know, you haven't gone out in a while. You don't have that many male acquaintances. You're not working now either. Can I ask who you think the father is? We need to put a name on the paperwork from now on. This is the birth of my sibling. Don't get mad, okay? I won't. Jack is the father. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't planning on stealing him. But one thing led to another. Wait. So you put yourself in a situation with your daughter's fiancé? I don't get it. You must be joking. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's true. I thought I had menopause already, but I was obviously wrong. Laura, I'm really sorry. You're not joking? I'm not. Oh, I'm really, really sorry. No. No way. Sorry. You can't be telling the truth. What is wrong with you people? Oh, how stupid of me. I was actually happy when I saw that you two were getting closer. But I didn't think you were taking it this far. Oh, I ignored all the signs. Please trust me when I say that I don't want to ruin your relationship. But you go to bed so early. I stayed up with him and had a few nightcaps. Didn't want to ruin my relationship. Stop making excuses. When did this start? 
How did it happen? Oh, I can't believe this. You're the worst. I am never going to forgive you. Laura, what was yesterday's voicemail about? You said that I shouldn't come over anymore. Did I do something to make you mad? You don't know? Or are you just pretending? Sorry, I'm not following. My mom is pregnant? Oh, uh, really? Uh, congratulations. What do you mean, congratulations? You're the father. Uh, no, 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 no. Why would you think that? It's your mom. I wouldn't do that. Oh, you really are a piece of work. I have evidence. Um, how? Did I mistake your mom for you? Huh? Are you really using that as an excuse? Then you must be stupid. How could you mistake us? Well, when I go to your house, see, I drink. So maybe I made a mistake after a few beers. After a few beers? Mistake? Even though you took selfies with my mom, looking at the camera while kissing her? My mom showed me all of the pics on her phone. You even sent her a text to arrange the next time you can meet. You are so dumb. Right. Oh, sorry. I'll take responsibility. No doubt you will. It might be hard at first, but let's raise the child as our own. Yours and mine. What? Are you nuts? I do like children. I could be a good father. You said you wanted lots of children, right? It's a good thing that our family is uh, starting to grow. We didn't plan this to happen so soon, but we will do a good job. Hold it. I seriously can't follow what you're thinking. You impregnated your fiancé's mother. Of course I'm calling the engagement off. Why do I have to raise your child? What? But I... I didn't hurt your mom, right? We just found a venue for our ceremony. We're planning on getting our marriage license soon. Why would you call it all off? I said I'll be taking responsibility for the child. You forgot the most important thing. You hurt me. What is with that? Something is wrong with your head. I'm not marrying you. Marry my mom and take care of your child. That's what you have to do. Laura, please. Come home. I can't live without you. I told you not to contact me. Talk to my lawyer. I've severed my ties to you. Oh, please don't say that. You're the only family I have left. I'm so lonely without you. This pregnancy is giving me a tough time. Jack can't do any housework. He doesn't even make as much as you do. I'm worried that we can't take care of this baby. I'm crying every day because I'm so worried. I'm the one that's crying. I don't care. It's your child. If you're worried about money, you should find a job after you give birth. I can't do that. How old do you think I am? I'm already in my 50s. It's hard enough to give birth at my age. I don't have the strength. There's no way I can work after. I need your help, Laura. I won't ask you for anything again. Please save me. It's amazing that you can say all of that after what you did. I wasn't the one that went after him. He came on to me. It's your fault that you couldn't satisfy him. I'm only a woman. I can't fight him off. Oh, really? Then you better keep him now. Wait, Laura. Aren't you going to pay me back for raising you? Don't you know the pain I had to go through to do that? I'll say thank you for that. I'm grateful, I really am. But you and Jack betrayed me. As soon as I became an adult, I got a job, and I worked hard to take care of you. You're the one that ruined all that. I don't think I owe you anything anymore. Oh, please don't throw me out like this. I only need you, Laura. But I don't need you. 
You're bad for my mental health, so I'm blocking you. Goodbye. Laura, forgive me. I don't want you to call off our engagement. I won't let you. Please, save us. We're in a tight spot. Not you, too. I told you to only talk through my lawyer. It's not about that. Your company kicked us out of the deal. The higher-ups are blaming me. Oh? I might have told my boss everything. What? You told them about me? Of course. I met you at work. My boss was the one that introduced us. I told my boss that we were getting married. It would be weird if I didn't tell her about this. Seriously? It's gonna destroy my bonus. I might even get demoted because of this. They're gonna slash my salary. It might. Your salary does depend on the work my company brings you. The money was good when we were engaged, wasn't it? But since you cheated... You're so cold. Alice and my child are related to you. But you're throwing us away. Don't say my mother's name in front of me. That is so disgusting. If this is the reason you're contacting me, I won't answer from now on. I was going to keep in contact until a settlement for our broken engagement had been reached. But if you're going to be this annoying, I'm going to block you too. Wait. There's something else I need to say. What? I don't want to marry Alice. There's too big of an age gap. Yeah, she is beautiful, but I prefer you. You're younger. She's 20 years older than me. Huh? You're the one that chose my mother. Well, I didn't really choose her. I didn't think she could get pregnant. Oh, I've had enough. I don't want to use any more brain cells to think of you two. It was just a bit of a fling. The one I love is you. How shocking. Didn't know that there could be words that have so little meaning. I'm being serious. Let's live together, the three of us. Um, when the child is born, it'll be the four of us, though. Oh, you're out of your mind. I don't want to be involved in this. Not even for a second. I'm so repulsed. You guys live in a different universe. I can't believe you have the audacity to come at me with this. Seriously, don't ever contact me again. If you come to my company again, I'm going to report you for stalking. Laura, please, don't leave us. I can't live without you. Shut it. Your child will be born soon. Do your duty as a father. I cut off all my ties with Mom and Jack. I'm enjoying myself in my brand new place. There are times when I cry over what happened, but I'm getting better. There was a rumor going around Jack's company that he impregnated his fiancée's mother. He was thrown aside and hasn't been given any significant projects. They don't see him as trustworthy at all anymore. His dad paid me for all the trouble that I went through during and after the engagement. In a surprising turn of events, Jack's dad decided to move in with my mom and Jack so he could help out taking care of his grandson. That doesn't give my mom and Jack a free pass, though. They're still 100% responsible for supporting that baby. Of course, my mom and Jack barely have a relationship now. The child is innocent in all of this, so I hope the child will turn out okay. I can't ever forgive them for all this. Nor can I forget what they did. But now, I'm glad everything happened before we got married. It saved a lot of future heartaches. The more I think about what happened, the more I don't understand it. I'm happy to be free of all of it, though. It's not my problem anymore. There are people in this world who can't understand, but I never thought that they would be family. In that respect, I guess they do belong together. I hope that they won't be able to hurt anyone else, so I hope that they will stick to each other.